on you guys and welcome back to another video so today guys we are rebuilding the new york yankees um this is a team that has definitely not started the way they've wanted to um i believe they're like in second to last place maybe last place in their division um which is tough case but i'm not gonna do too much talking i'm just gonna jump straight into it i'll see you guys at the all-star break all right guys so um we are currently 52 and 37 that is not bad uh we're currently in first place ranked second in all of baseball i could imagine the dodgers are probably third first um so let's take a look uh at the pitching rotation first garrett cole having a great season so far 2.14 era a whip of 0.91 144 strikeouts Corey kluber doing pretty solid good to see luis severino could be doing better um uh jameson not bad that's pretty good for a number four uh jordan montgomery as a number five that's great the bullpen garcia isn't doing good zach Britton is having himself a good season um Darren O'Day isn't doing good. Wilson is doing solid. Jonathan is as well. Rodis Chapman is struggling a bit. Has a 5 ERA. Offense. So, Gio Urshela doing good. Aaron Hicks doing solid. LeMahieu doing good. Judge is doing good. Uh, Torres is going off. Luke Voigt is doing all right. Could get that average up. Not bad. Stanton's doing good. That's good. Um, that's fine. All right, bench is, is doing solid. Gary is not doing that good as he should be. So, um, really with me personally, I'm fat, satisfied with everybody. Um, I think definitely catcher is the position that is not too exciting right now. Uh, we got a lot of players that are not looking the best. Um, I really do want to ship out Chapman. Um, I think let's see with the draft picks. Um, we did get a closer, but he's not rated the, the best at all. If we're going to be honest, um, I don't think in our farm system or in the minor leagues, we don't have anybody that is going to be too exciting. Um, but I just prefer to just ship him off, uh, see what we can get for him. He's he's getting 16. He has what? That is 32, 32 million a year, or that's 32 million in total. I don't think he's worth that much. Um, maybe we can get somebody else um, that we know could be consistent. I wouldn't mind Kenley Jansen, even though he's about to be a free agent, though. Uh, maybe Josh Hader. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a Josh Hader. I want to get Rob Robinson Torinos out of here. Um, I think we'll do that trade for Josh Hader. Um, I, I don't think he's gonna his contract. He's we have two years of arbitration Saves us some money. So it's pretty solid. I know Yankee fans maybe may not like that. Maybe they will but It's just it's saving money and he's doing way better. So it's fine. Our budget anyways Is not looking the best. Uh, we got a lot of people that are coming up with that have 300 plus year or 300 plus million dollar contracts so we got to be a little bit smart um because we do got other people that might need extensions like judge um and potentially hater in the future gary even though he may not stay all right but i'm not gonna do that touch at all they're doing good i'll just see you guys at the end of the season i got all right guys so we finished 97 and 65 we're taking on the twins in the division series we finished off um first place ranked second in all of baseball garrett cole looks like he went off and uh kluber he won cy young awesome to see um the rotation was pretty solid except for Luis and jordan the bullpen was solid josh Hader worked up a good season lineup 
was pretty good. Um, everybody did good except for catcher position, which is fine. It's nothing crazy. All right, so let's get into it. Um, all right, so we got Garrett Cole versus... All right, what did I do? We got Garrett Cole versus Kenta Maeda, game one. We won that one. We got Corey Kluber versus Jose Barrios, won that. And then we got Jameson versus Devin. Lost that one. Luis Severino versus Jordan. Lost that one. And then Jordan versus Kenta Maeda again. Won that. Good. Cole versus Verlander. Won that. Kluber versus Granke. Lost that one. Damn. Uh, we got Tyone versus Lance. Lost that one. Luis Severino versus Justin. Jordan versus Valdez. And we've been eliminated by the Astros. What the world, dude? The pitching just, I probably the offense imploded and didn't do crap. All right, those two, nobody cares. All right, um, let me take this out. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, I don't know, Corey Kluber, he worked himself a good season. Uh, I feel like he did pretty well. He is going to want a lot of money, though. That is definitely the problem. I don't know. It, it's it's honestly difficult with him because he's 35 years old. And he had himself a good season. He did do good. But it's like, do we know that he's going to put up those numbers next season at his 36-year-old season? um bruce i would like him like as a bench bat i don't know why he wasn't brought i'm not gonna give him that much i think he's lost his damn mind um we'll give him that we'll bring him up put him on the bench uh d trick i'll let go oday i'll let go and he'll also be let go so it's up with kluber i think i'm gonna let him go and just see how free agency works out so i'll see you guys at free agency hey, ladies and gentlemen so um let's take a look here because there's certain people that are not coming back um people like jordan aren't coming back i'm gonna let him go he's 29 years old um i don't maybe but i don't think he's gonna come back i'm not i'm not a fan uh, we're gonna have to find a number two. I like Jameson at number three. Luis Severino, I think he will be traded. Um, and then Garcia, I th I don't know what I'm gonna do with Garcia. Um, I want to put him in the rotation. Put him as our number five. Herman, he did pretty well. Um, even though he didn't pitch that much, actually um the bullpen so these two are staying definitely these two also so we got five um i don't know okay we'll we'll bring back jordan um we'll bring him back he'll be a long reliever um and then domingo herman also we'll keep him there um We'll put him number five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll need one more reliever. Uh, Severino will be traded. Um, and then I think... Oh, heck no. Um, Severino will be traded. We're going to need a number two starter. Let me see. We'll need a number two starter. And I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think what else would we possibly need. I um, think we might do this trade, actually. We might actually do this. I'm going to do that trade for Walker Bueller. Hell yeah. Um, I think the trade thing, in my opinion, this year is broken. That is for sure. Okay, so I think we got a number two and Walker Bueller, definitely. 
uh we'll go like i think the rotation will go like this i think domingo is the only one that i'm think i'm gonna put in the bullpen depending really um and then offense let's talk offense here so i think also something i'm gonna do so geo is staying he's gonna stay the third baseman um aaron hicks i'm gonna think about it um his contract is a bit long and he's 32 years old he's still putting up good numbers but i don't know yet lemay he is staying um not at second base um torres will be the second baseman judge will stay in right voight is going to be traded um stanton will be in left um i don't know yet i'm thinking about it with stanton his contract's way too big um catcher i think kyle will stay there and then shortstop we'll talk more discuss about that in a minute so um let's put stanton up here um i don't know because what i'm thinking of or what i have in mind i want to put clint frazier as the left fielder but also with him he's a little bit sus um you gotta really think smart with him in my opinion but i don't know yet um i think i'm gonna trade stanton definitely um voy is going to be traded i can't trade him now sanchez is not coming back i'm not gonna give him arbitration or nothing he's just not gonna come back uh playing as that judge is definitely gonna stay um i think also aaron hicks will be leaving now here's the thing hicks will be leaving um because we got jason who's coming up smoothly you know switch hitter 18 years old dude looks like he's gonna be a good player i think right for now we could just get somebody that has like a cheap contract um who's not you know like in the older side well i don't want to say that's in the older side but that's you know like at a fine good age like a 30 31 type player 29 um that you know gives jason some time to you know develop uh like i wouldn't mind to uh tapia he wouldn't be bad but you know his contract could tell Marte wouldn't be bad either um maybe david how about cole how he do i'll come back to them i like that brian reynolds wouldn't be bad um let's think um pilar he has good defense acuna would be nice we could get him damn he did phenomenal dude that is not even funny and he plays center field if i could have added jason i would have done it wow they want a lot for acuna and i don't blame them dude's a great player um and i don't got anybody else i could give them all right that's fine that's fine um we'll come back to that <laughs> later on oh my word no way for mike trout i think we're gonna do this trade i think we'll do it heck yeah get mike trout with the yankees we're gonna do that <laughs> mike trout coming to the yankees bro oh my word all right so i think we're gonna go like that definitely i think we'll have trout be our center fielder and then like i said before what we'll do is we'll just have clint frazier as a left fielder uh, because I, I like Clint Frazier. He's he's going to develop. He's only 27. Uh, he could develop into a good, solid player. So I have confidence. We just need to get more bench bats because Mike is the only guy that I've signed back. Um, but yeah, let's get into free agency already. Um, 
So, um, positions. I want to look at shortstop and, um, yeah, I want to look at shortstops and maybe a starter, possibly bullpen arm. I don't know yet. Um, I might go with a starter. I don't know yet. Alex Wood, he wouldn't be bad to stick in as a lefty. I wouldn't mind Lance. How much does Lance want? Hmm. Because I know he's a good player. Or a good pitcher, definitely. I wouldn't mind Alex Wood, though, for a one-year deal. I think we could give him... He'll be a rotation arm. I think we could do six million for Wood. Get him in as a lefty. Um, relievers, I think with Herman will just keep in the bullpen. Um, and then, like I said, catchers, I'm fine with. I'm fine with Kyle for now. Um, maybe like a bench bat, like a Ramos, that could like back him up potentially. He just wants a lot of money. I don't think so. Manny, he has good defense, right? How about Mike? He would want six million. Maybe we bring back Austin, who did pretty well. What the world? They just, these catchers want a lot of money, dude. Maybe Tyler. Yeah, maybe we'll bring back Tyler. No. Molina would be nice. Like as a bench, plat, or yeah, depth, I guess. I think we'll get Molina back. Um. All right, and then we're good with that. I got that situated. So let's look at shortstop. Because this is something I definitely feel like the Yankees might need to do in this offseason. Is either trade Torres or trade Voight. Um, because they're not getting rid of Orshella or DJ. Um, I don't know. We got a couple options. We got Seager and uh, Story who did pretty well. We got Simmons. And then we got Baez. I don't know. My favorite really is definitely Seager but I think the all around player is definitely Trevor Story and I think he's definitely going to be the guy the Yankees should go for now the question is what type of contract do we give him because he is 29 years old what we could do is give him all the way till he's 35 which would be a 36 year contract I believe which he would be getting 186 million maybe because i know the rockies i think are yeah offering six years maybe we could like well that's max contract we could go eight and then maybe player option club option because he definitely wants a long contract he wants a long contract but i don't know that's that's a lot of money per year If he gets this, he'd be beating out every shortstop. I don't know. It's just, this is what I think Lindor got, but 12 years. We could do that, but club option. Let me think. I think we'll give him that. We'll offer him that. Um, bias, Jesus. Well, he doesn't want that much. Um, Seeger wouldn't be bad at all. Um, but I think I'm going to go with Story because that seems like the more realistic thing the Yankees are going to do. Because I think the Dodgers are definitely bringing back um, Seeger. And then the outfield, I think we're good with. I think we'll just get like a... 
a bench bat. I think we could go with Cruz for a uh, uh, DH, and then possibly Charlie. Maybe give him one. These people want way too much money, dude. Jake Lamb, maybe. We'll give him 2.4. Maybe D Gordon. We could get D Gordon. 3 million. 2.9, actually. And Brock. Whoa, whoa. We could get Brock. I say 5 million. There we go. So, um... We're going to get the, hopefully those people sign and I'll see you guys at the beginning of the season. All right. So, um, not a good way to start off the Cubs sign Trevor story to a six year, um, a six year, uh, a six year deal 183 million i guess he didn't like what we offered now we're gonna go with seager definitely he's gonna be the other option i feel like with yankee stadium he will crush um i think we'll go five years um i think we'll go back loaded club option i think that's what probably killed the thing with this guy was club option i think we'll give him that five years he'll be 28 29 30 31 32 we'll give him that see what he does so i'll see you guys then guys so um we made a couple signings uh majority of the players you guys saw they did sign gladly so um let's start off with the rotation of course so um we got alex wood you guys know the 60 million dollar contract he's gonna be a long reliever uh we also signed mark um for two million dollars he'll be in the bullpen i guess they let go of domingo herman he's gonna be in the bullpen uh lineup so here's where it is so LeMay, who's going to be at first base. Um, shortstop is going to be Seager. And then Torres is going to be at second base. Frazier's in left field. So we signed Cruz to be our DH for $4 million. We also got Molina to be a backup catcher, $2 million. Justin, he's there. D. Gordon for two point nine utility guy. Um, also, he is as well. Mike Ford came up. Um and that's how it really is we're currently ranked uh first in all of baseball so let's hope that that comes to reality but i hope you guys are enjoying so far i'll see you guys at the all-star break all right guys so we're currently 61 28 we are doing great we're in first place second in all of baseball i don't understand all right so let's take a look so the rotation is doing phenomenal except for walker bueller um bullpen is doing all right not bad uh we got a couple people like mark um justin and um alex wood who not, are not doing the best just not too exciting to see offense lemayhu is doing pretty good uh orshell is doing good trout is doing phenomenal um judge is doing good Seager's doing phenomenal. Good. Awesome. That is all right. And that's good. Bench is doing pretty good. I'm glad to see that. Um, so everything's going pretty well for this team. I'm glad that we didn't, you know, go and do some things that wouldn't have gone well for us. So let's check the trading block braves we did trade void to the braves for a couple prospects um i don't know i gotta i gotta be honest i do need to get like a long reliever that's not alex wood um let's check the mets let's see trevor may is doing pretty good lugo he always does pretty well i think we could do him mark and wilson no dang 
Maybe. All right, we'll do that for Lugo. Get him in the bullpen. And then I think we could get Trinan. Wow, that is crazy. Okay, uh, let's check pitching rotation. I think we could keep Lugo middle. Okay, so we're currently at six. I think we got enough to bring somebody up. Maybe like a Luis type player. We'll move him into the long reliever spot. Put him right there. Um, so let's check the, where is it at? The depth chart. So we're good with center field and right field. The outfield is pretty solid. Um, I think maybe if Clint starts to die down, maybe we'll just bring up our uh, prospect, Jason. Third base is a little iffy. He's ranked 11th. That's fine. Um, Seeger ranked seventh. That seems about right. Cole is second. Probably DeGrom. Um, Torres, second base. So, um, hmm. let's check long next year. How would this team look? Okay, so it's Judge's last season. We know that one. Um, bullpen would be way different. What is Justin Wilson doing there? I thought we traded him. Okay, uh, let's check 2026. Um... All right, so I say we do got to give a, long, a lot of signing to a lot, some of these players here. Right, let's skip all of this. I don't care. Marlins don't care. All right. Um... All right, uh, could we get to contract extensions? There we go. All right, so I wanna look at relievers cause we do got a lot of players that are looking to be relievers. So I think Chad Green, he definitely has earned himself something. God Lord, he wants a lot though. He would be bullpen arm. I think we could do something like that. 20 million. We gotta be smart though. Uh, Lugo, I know he's gonna do well. Think we could work out a similar contract. 16 million. All right. 16.5, 17. All right, man. Come on, dude. Zach Britton. He's 34. I think with him, he'll be the one that we give one year. Damn. Hold on a minute. Hold your horse. Club option. Uh, definitely will be. There we go. Luis. Uh, we don't have to worry about him. Justin Wilson. I thought, I thought we did get rid of this guy, but I guess we didn't. With him, it'd be the same thing. Nothing different. Um, club option. He's gonna be a cheaper one though. And all the other ones. Closers. Josh Hader. We're fine with him. Kyle. We're good. Molina is the only one, but I think we're good. Mike Ford. Torres. We're good. Orshella. We do got Miguel and Duhar down there. Um, who I totally forgot about. Now I'm going to make a couple moves. I think I'm going to move Torres or Glaber to or LeMahieu to first. Uh, Torres is at second, third, short, left. Perfect. Uh, let's see how much. Okay, good. That's what it was. We just had to move him back to his position. Um, let's continue on because we do got a couple people like Judge. 
who is working pretty well he does want a lot of money though that is for sure i think maybe i could do that I think we could do 90 million. <laughs> It'd be club option though, buddy. We'll do that. <sighs> Lord, our bank is going to be broken. That's that's for sure. Uh, Clint Frazier, we're good. We're shallow, we're good. All right, so we're doing pretty well. Um i'll see you guys at the end of the season okay so we finished 110 and 52 way better than last season finished our uh, first place ranked first in all of baseball garcia looks like he went off uh kyle clint aaron one thing uh seager won mvp alonzo didn't then that's surprising lucas giolito dang that's good the wins is what got saved him. Judge won the Hank Aaron Award, won by Trout before. The rotation was solid. Everybody did good. The bullpen as well was solid. I'm glad to see that. Lineup, everybody did good. Um, that's DH. Okay, I guess they sent him down. Um, but yeah, everybody did good except catcher, of course, but it's fine. It's no biggie. What happened to my guy, uh, Cruz? Did they like sit him out or something? How he do? He put up good numbers. Yeah, and then let's take down, where is he at, Miguel. And then let's put Cruz back in where he belongs. Okay, so let's start off. Um, we got the Twins, we got Cole versus Jose. Lost that one, what the hell, Cole? Walker Buehler versus Devin lost that one too. Jameson versus Michael, dude, what? How the hell did we just get eliminated like that, dude? A sweep. Oh my God, the lineup was horrible, dude. Nobody performed almost. The rotation was freaking horrible, dude. What the hell? We just got swept by the twins first time ever dodgers defeat the white Sox. what melina okay melina retires that's fine albert pujos what ah yeah yeah that makes no sense dude i want to get back the same pitching coach we had i think i remember what his name was I think maybe not. I know he was like C rated. I don't know. Maybe we'll just get. Oh, no, this is a hitting coach. Wait, isn't that what we need? Yeah, a hitting coach. maybe we'll go with him uh we need a farm director i need a better farm director i'll take him let's check managers out i'm not too excited i think we're good with boone for now actually no we're firing boone i think we'll give it to him Boone did not impress me that much. All right. Oh, Lord. Jameson Tyone also.
I didn't even notice he was a free agent. He's going to be a free agent. Well, he did pretty well. He's only 31 years old. I think we could work out like a three-year deal. Possibly do 45 million, maybe. 45 club option. I think we could do that. Uh, D Gordon, how did he do? I think as a bench bat. No, I'm going to let him go. Bruce also is going to be let go. Everybody else, I think we'll bring back. Uh, actually, no, we'll let go of Cruz. So, see you guys at free agency. We got to do something because <laughs> this is unacceptable, dude. Um, So, the rotation is going to stay put. I think we're going to keep everybody as is. Bullpen as well. We're not going to do any changes. Maybe Justin Wilson. Um, maybe not really I think we're not going to do any changes I think the offense So we are going to look for a new catcher um, And a DH I just call I think Uh uh um, And then I think everything else is fine um, Only thing is is Torres and Orshella Are upcoming free agents um, Or I think Geo is, but I don't think Torres, even though from what I saw. Okay, maybe not. So, Geo is an upcoming, uh, what's it called? Free agent next season. Um, so our weakest spot is catcher. Um, we are ranked 23rd in the catcher position. Now, Geo, he's fine. Um, I'm not gonna like he's not that bad he's a good player um i think really what we got to look at is catcher and then let's check the depth chart so yeah catcher really and um i don't know third base he's not bad he's been he's been a consistent third baseman definitely um Torres is finally developing into a good player. Um, I don't, I got to think about it because we do got some options here. Um, we're not going to need any starters nor bullpen help at all. Um, catchers is what we do got to look at. So we got a couple options, Max, Wilson, Jan Gomes, Mike, um wilson he did do pretty well he is gonna want a lot though 31 and we don't have that type of money um i really do want to get like a bench bat uh i think omar wouldn't be too bad um i think he could definitely work as a everyday catcher for us he switch hit or two um we don't need first base uh, third base, we do got Jose Ramirez, who didn't do the best, and he's gonna want a lot of money. I don't think it's you know worth going after him. Um, I don't know. I think really we're good. Um, I think if anything, we'll just like make an adjustment later on. Um, but I think we're fine really with the Omar signing. And then maybe getting like a bunch of like bench bats, whatever, uh, like a Jake Marisnik type player, um, possibly David, we could do David, maybe Michael Brantley. I don't think so. Um, maybe DD will bring back DD. Um, but yeah, so see you guys at the beginning of the season. Um, so uh, we got David for one year, 5.7. You guys know, Didi, 3 million, uh, Bench, and then Kyle. Omar Narvaez, he signed with us, 8.5 to be a catcher. The rotation's still the same. Um, so see you guys at the All-Star break. 69 and 17, or 19, I think. Yeah, 19, we're in first place, ranked second in all of baseball.
So, um, the rotation is doing solid, except for Jordan. Bullpen is doing pretty well, except for a couple people. Um, hopefully they can recover. Lineup. Geo isn't doing the best. That's surprising. David is doing good. Clint Fraser is doing all right. Omar. So, um, team's looking pretty solid. Um, it's not too bad. Third base and short. Um, but I'm not going to do any adjustments. I'm going to see you guys at the end of the season. We finished off 127 and 35. That is awesome. Uh, looks like the team went off. We were ranked second in all of baseball, though. Garrett Cole looks like he went off again. Uh, he won Cy Young. Torres won MVP. Um, not bad, man. Not bad. Lineup. Everybody did good except for Geo. Um, Torres went off. How about Trout? Trout did all right. Well, he did good. Seager did good. Um, Clint really in the catcher and then uh I forgot his other name whatever bull rotation was solid I think the pitching side of things was good um let's get into this so we got White Sox we got Colt versus Carlos won that one Walker versus Domingo won that and then Jameson versus Dylan lost that Jordan versus Lucas and then Davey Garcia versus Carlos won that you got oh damn it um walker bueller versus jose won that jameson versus valdez won that jordan versus whitley garcia versus nelson perfect so we're taking on the mets oh lord we got degrom versus cole game one we won that one damn uh walker bueller versus david won that one tyone versus joey won that jordan versus taiwan walker lost that one garcia versus degrom Cole versus David. We've won the World Series. Let's go. Not too happy with the team we placed or we played, though. That's my favorite team. What's going on? Crano, not make it into the Hall of Fame. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I don't know. This team is a bit of an interesting team. Um, you know, they got, they got on paper a good offense but once it gets to the playoffs they never perform and that's what it seems like is killing them they have a lack of offense in the playoffs and then you know the pitching side of things is a bit sus you don't know if kluber is going to continue doing good or tyone is going to do good you know it's a bit iffy so you know that's what's killing this team so far really is the pitching side of things and then, you know, in the playoffs, I don't know. If they don't make it that far this year, I think it's definitely going to be time to make some adjustments offensively. If it's the lack of offense, of course. But we'll have to see how everything goes. We still have a couple months until the, place, uh, the postseason comes up. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.